Welcome back to the Power Hockey Cup 2008 presented by Otto Bach. We're in the second period of an exciting game, all tied up one to one, the Toronto Rock against the Minnesota Stars. Jen, any predictions of where this game's headed? I have to say, I'm a little surprised by the score right now. I thought the Stars would be a little more dominating right now. They, uh, they, they've come out, they've played very hard. Um, Faisal has been really aggressive. Faisal is always a very aggressive player, no matter what the score is. And it looks like uh, our face-off is Sarah against Chris Cram. Stevens battling for the ball down there. And Faisal emerges with it. Oh, and good block. Craig is there showing his defensive skills. fighting for the ball there. Go, go, Showing uh, the uh, aggression that uh, the women players have. So we don't have a lot of female players in our team. And I think because females are a little intimidated by the sport, probably because it's so male-dominated. But you know, I've learned to play just as rough enough as all the boys do. And they don't intimidate me, and I think every female out there should give it a try. I think they will like it. So do you think uh, any any woman in a power chair should try out power hockey? They should definitely give it a try. It's, uh, it looks like a fun sport. Gets your uh, competitive juices going. You get to compete on a team. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's also a really good workout. Believe it or not, driving your chair up and down is a lot of work, but you do get pretty tired from it. That's what uh, Kirk Ashman was telling me, uh, our commentator for the last game, and he uh, he really has an intense workout if he plays a game. So if you're looking for a great way to exercise. Try out power hockey. You can have fun while exercising. Yeah. Oh, cram with the shot. Over the other side, guys, that's the wide open. Come on. Ball goes out of bounds. Two, wrong side of the ball. Face off between Chris and Faisal. shot by Faisal. Steve had that uh, ball covered by a mile. He saw it coming. He's very good about knowing where it is and what it's going to come and what the angle it needs to be on to stop it. Drop Oh! 
Faisal tries to sneak it around the back, but Steve Onsom is there. Knows what he's up to. Which is pretty impressive because uh, it's not a very good uh, visibility going it, backwards like that. Playing goalie is very hard. It's definitely not anything that I want to do. So how does your brother see uh, behind his head? I don't know. He just has a way of knowing. I think maybe you just hear it. It's kind of intuitive for him. Like we got some substitutions. Big, big change up here. Craig McClellan coming out. Played well. Very strong in the defensive position. Got uh, Josh Wimmergren in there. Number 25, Bayer back in there. Got a shot at it. Nice block. Watch his back, Lynn. No, no, no. Watch his back shot. Take his back, Slideway. We got a battle for the ball in the corner. Sarah Hua is fighting hard against two Minnesota Stars. And nice pass to Faisal. He's looking for an own. Oh, beautiful behind the back pass. No one there to receive it, though. Oh, and Faisal. Nice block by Steve. And he tries to sneak around the back. The back Both of the posts. So if you want to do a wrap around, you want to have to wrap around and pop it up over his stick. Ah. Well, that's the that's the one goal we saw on Steve. It uh, it just was over his stick. He didn't really have much of an opportunity to stop it. Coming in. Oh, he tried to pop it up. I think uh, the face of Wimmergren there stopped it. Oh, I think Chris Cram hit the ref. I think he was aiming for him on purpose. Steve Onsen blocks it with his face. To be a power hockey ref, you need to be able to move really fast and jump out of the way. Wait, get up there. Does uh, any of the refs ever get hit? And how about these players? They're they're moving around awfully fast out here. Any any of them ever flip over? Um, every now and then you have a flip over. It doesn't happen as much as it used to. Here in the Minnesota Power Hockey League in the summer, we have one tip over and we have this team ten. But otherwise, we don't have this stuff. Uh, every year, a couple of years. But the uh, idea is to keep the uh, aggressive play down so the flip-overs don't occur. We try to limit the contact. Oh, 
Chris Graham pops it up. Nice try. Tim Coleman, the head referee, was refing the game today. He's been refing for us for at least 12 years. Oh, that's fantastic. And he definitely, uh, definitely knows his game. He knows the sport inside and out. Looking for an opening here. Go, Chris, go. And Chris gets a little pass in traffic. Hoo-ha is not going to give him an open shot. She's playing really aggressive with Chris. Not giving him an inch. Trying to bring the ball back. Oh, good steal by Chris Cram there. Ball's under his chair. There. Looks like uh, Hoo Ha ran into Chris, hit his arm. A little, a little too aggressive, maybe. A little bit. That's the kind of aggressiveness that we try to keep to a minimum to avoid injuries and and Sarah's going to be out for two minutes. That's opening up a scoring opportunity for the Stars. Time out here while Chris Cram recuperates. Looks like he's okay. Trying to clear it. Cram there's looking for an opening. Good pass to Bear. And Stevens is there to uh, mix it up. Oh, and here comes Faisal. He's got one person to beat. He's does it? Oh, and Chris Cram. Oh. Jacob Holmquist with the ball here, looking for a shot. Plays out was there to get a stick on it.
Chris Cram is looking for an opening. Oh, he shoots. And the ball is in Brad Gordon's lap. Looks like uh, Faisal is hurt. His eyes. Chris Cram. Chris Cram will go out for two minutes. And Sarah's got 11 seconds left in the box. We're down to about a minute 40 left in this period. It's all tied up one to one. A great game here. This has been a very good game. Much closer and aggressive than I expected it to be. These, uh, neither of these teams are backing down. They're both playing very, very hard hockey. Yeah. And it looks like Faisal is not coming out. be uh, evenly matched here for 11 seconds and then it'll be the Toronto Rock advantage. About a minute and 50 seconds. Faisal <laughs> quickly out there past the Steven. Looking for an opening in that, that wall known as Steve. Oh, and a good block by Steve. So what's the challenge of being in the in the defensive position? For me, it's being able to stop the really fast shots. They come at you really fast sometimes, and you don't always see them. It's, uh, the, that ball can definitely pick up a lot of speed. Faisal's looking for an opening here. Just over 30 seconds left in the period. Oh, nice try by Stevens. Oh, Holmquist breaks it up. Trying to eat up some of that time, uh, 36 seconds before Cram can come back in the game. The period will be over for them. I was running out of time. And the stars hold them off. It's one to one. Great game. We'll be back for period three in a few minutes.